an assessment of the current conservation of Somalia and a plan on how to improve it. This is Africa, the continent which Somalia is situated. It is found on the eastern side of Africa. Somalia is located on the Horn of Africa, a peninsula on the eastern coast of Africa that separates the Gulf of Aden to the north and the Indian Ocean to the east and south. This country shares a border with Kenya, Ethiopia and Djibouti. This area is 637,637 square kilometers. This protected area protects terrestrial animals found in Somalia. This area is called Lag Bandana National Park. It was the first national park to be established in Somalia, which was in the 1980s. There are over 200 vascular plants, which 20 are endemic. The nature reserve includes monkeys, gazelles, hyenas, foxes and birds. The land use map is a representation of the area uses of Somalia. Somalia is dominant by shrubs, grass and sparse vegetation. There are areas found all along the country where crops and agriculture is found. In Somalia, there is one protected area. Less than 3% of Somalia area is protected. This area is located south of Somalia. What are the reasons Somalia needs protected areas? Somalia has many different species. There are species that are endemic to the country. Since they are endemic to the country, they need protection in order to conserve the diversity of species. Endemic species include Calcocleurus titonus, Atelerix clocae, and Pectinatus fecae. An estimation of 23 species that will be conserved in Somalia. This species will be protected to ensure their survival. What strategy will be used to protect these species? For the conservation of this need, a conservation plan would be needed. What does this conservation plan include? The conservation target for the species is where species were grouped together and each group was given a percentage to conserve. The amphibians have the highest conservation percentage which is 75%. The amphibians have a high percentage as a lot of the amphibians are endemic to Somalia. The mammals have the second highest percentage to conserve, which is 60%. Mammals have a smaller percentage than amphibians because there aren't many mammals endemic to Somalia. The birds aren't endemic to Somalia, but can be found all around the world. The first step in the conservation plan is to locate which areas or species are found. Since there are species found all over the country, it will be impossible to conserve all the land area. In order to conserve as much species as possible without trying to protect the entire country, a target percentage for each species needs to be selected and to be conserved. The aim of the plan is to try and meet all of the targets for each species with using minimum amount of land possible. The second steps are assessing the current protected area and observe if the targets were met. However, if these targets were not met, then a suitable location in the country needs to be assessed, where more protected areas could be recognized that would maximize protection of the species with the minimum amount of land use. In order to assess this, Marksan was used. This is a conservation program which runs various analyses. To do Marksan analysis, many different maps had to be created. The four methods can be observed on the screen. There were various GIS and other programs that were used to obtain this information. The GIS programs used were ArcView, Diva GIS and Idrisi32. These programs were used to make maps by importing data from Diva website, protectedcanada.net and the IUCN Red List. The data were used to create different maps which were needed to run the analysis for the planning unit. One of the main maps that were created is the planning unit map. The planning units break down the regions of the country into smaller units that can be managed much easier. When analyzing the data using Markzan, there are two steps that need to take place. The systematic planning unit breaks down the country into small hexagons 
which represent each hexagon being one unit. The ecological planning unit breaks down the country into units based on the water basin. The lowest point, as can be seen on this map, is where the water runs. The systematic and ecological planning unit can be used to analyze the conservation of species. Several other maps also had to be made for the Marxan, with the full methods again being visible. The 10-year map was the most important map. This is a map of the country which shows the artificial and disturbed area, such as roads, rail, agriculture area and the protected area. This shows the 10-year assessment map, which is a modified version of the 10-year map that only shows the protected areas of the country. The two 10-year maps are used to exclude the part of the country that is already being protected and possibility of new protected areas. Each planning unit that is constructed costs money. There is an estimation cost for a cost map to be added. In relation to the systematic approach, there were species that were protected within the current protection area. In Somalia, more protected areas would need to be established in different locations in the country to meet the species target and improve the conservation of species. However, if it's not possible to protect more areas in Somalia, the best option is to conserve smaller areas where the most species are located. The current protected areas were not sufficient to protect all the endemic species found in Somalia. For obvious reasons, the protected area had to be increased to protect more endemic species. Furthermore, an ecological approach was applied, but it did not work for the data of Somalia. Therefore, only a systematic approach can be taken for the increase of protected areas. This will allow maximum species protection with a minimum land being used. Furthermore, in relation to protected areas in Somalia, it is not well protected but there is a plan which can be used to increase the protected area and conserve more species.